Welcome to my Refractive Vlog. In this video, I'm going to share my experience in completing the group assignment for subject English Development and Engagement with code number UHP12902. Our group is Group E from Section 39. Our group title project for this course is Authenticity of Asam Pedas in Different States. By the way, my name is Tan Xiaoyi with battery number AW220239 and I was born in Penang. I am year 1 student from University in Hussein on Malaysia, UTHM, and I study the program Food Technology under Faculty of Life Science and Technology. Now, I'm going to share my experience. Well, I'm doing the expected outcome and conclusion part for my project proposal. The first question is, what have I learned? At first, I'm a totally new when I'm doing the project proposal, especially like English development and English learning. I never attended this course before and I have totally no idea about the Asapodas issues. Fortunately, our lecturer Dr. Brian Yang Kingway gave an excellent explanation and gave some explain example for our group. Thanks to him, I already know the ways to write the idea for the expected outcome and conclusion. In addition, my group member whose name is Aruna also helped me to complete it by checking my grammar. With her help, I finally managed to finish my part before the deadline of our group project. By the way, I also learned the importance of teamwork and I believe that this teamwork will help me in the future in terms of earning money and starting a business. Next, what is the personal development and have you experienced? Well, I believe that making a proposal for a few days would be tiring work since we must take care of our other housework. So I made a schedule on doing which tasks first and without a doubt it works well for me and prevent me from overstress. Well, that's my personal development from this group project which is possessing the ability to schedule work before doing it. Okay, the next question is to share one challenging experience and solution taken to curb the problem. Well, for my case, I think that finding sources about the Asampada species is pretty a challenge for me. As I mentioned before, it is totally chaos when it comes to Asampada species. So I decided to search for sources and information from the internet. Luckily, I found a lot of information about Asampada's. Well, here comes another problem which is some of the website need to be paid for. Through continuous effort, I managed to find a bunch of free websites and the, the information from the website is good enough for me. That's all I want to share with you all and I also want to thank all my group members for making this project proposal complete fast and easily. Thank you. Nice.